Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna, and today I'm going to be talking about all the September releases that I'm excited for. Let's the get first go. book is The Book of Fates by Rachel Moore. And well, it's already came out on September 5th. Radcliffe Prep, the third most haunted school in the country where student disappearance isn't uncommon, and no one dares stay in the library after dark. And Esther Logano enrolls with the hopes of finding her dead father. Not literally, of course. She doesn't believe in ghosts going to her dad's Seems like school. her best hope at figuring out who he was. But then Esther meets Matteo, who is maybe, probably, definitely a real ghost. And an annoying one at that. When Matteo frames Esther for the theft of a rare book from the library's secret spire and then vanishes, Esther will have to track him down or risk being expelled and leaving Radcliffe early, just like her father did. So that sounds so cool. I never read anything about it had like a haunted library, so it sounds really cool. My next book is This Dark Descent by Kayleen Josephson, and it will come out on September 26. And this is a new fantasy full of intrigue, romance, and pulse-pounding action where the eldest daughter of a renowned family on the verge of ruin joins forces with a mysterious rogue character enchanter and a ha handsome, ambitious heir to win a deadly race. My next book is Timeless by Cynthia Han. Not much is known about this book. It is like another new unearthly book she is writing. I have never read it, but... I thought I would try it out. It just says it will come out in fall of 2023. And that's about it. My next book is The Medicine Women of Galveston by Amanda Skinyandor. And I'm assuming it's coming out in September. I don't know, it does not really use that thing yet. But caught in the great Galveston hurricane of 1900, a female doctor who joins a traveling medicine show to support her disabled son is forced to weather the storm and its aftermath. In a town hostile to the troops' unconventional ways, but desperate for the help. So that sounds like really. It's, I feel like it's gonna be a little bit of heartbreaking, but we'll see. My next book is *The Forest Grin* by Catherine Purdy. It will be coming out on September 19. My fairy tales come to life with dark, deadly twist. Tell me again, grand man, the story of how I died. The Midnight Forest, the Fang Creature, two fortune-telling cards that spell an untimely death for a 17-year-old Clara. Despite the ever-present warning from her fortune-telling grandmother, Clara embarks on a dangerous journey into the deadly forest grim to procure a magical book, Sorte's Fortune, the Book of Fortunes, with the power to reverse the curse on her village and save her mother. So, I actually talked about this book quite a bit on this channel, and I'm just gonna Keep it simple and short, but that is Foul Hot Huntsman by Chloe Gong. And it's on coming out on September 26th, and just, you know, we're just following the immortal assassin in the 1930s and Shanghai as she races to save her country and her love. And it's like the sequel to Foul Lady Fortune. Next book is A Study in Drowning by Ava Reed. Come out on September 19th. Effie Sayon has always believed in fairy tales. She had no choice. Well, her, she has been haunted by visions of the fairy king. She has found solace only in the pages of Angharad, author Emery's Mirindan, Mirindan's beloved epic about a mortal who falls in love with the fairy king and then destroys him. Effie's tainted dog eared copy is all that's keeping her afloat through her stifling first term at Leah's prestigious architecture college. So when Mirindan family announces a contest to design the late artist's house, Effie feels certain this is her destiny. But Hirath Manual is an impossible task, a musty, discreet estate on the brink of crumbling into a hungry sea. And when Effie arrives, she finds she isn't the only one who has made a temporary home there. Preston Hillary. I started in young Lenachild scholar and studying the women's papers and is determined to prove her favorite author is a fraud. And my next book is A Point of Foster Star by Amy Kuzinan and it will come out on September 28. When the snow falls, she will be free. The invitations always arrive the same way, without warning, appearing around the city on the first snowfall of the year, simply inscribed with tonight. When struggling artist first finds an invitation, he is bewitched by the magic of the evening, swept up in the glamour of his notorious animal party, and intrigued as, his, as to who is behind them. And my next book is After the Forest by Kel Woods. 
and it's coming on, on September 26th. Ginger Honey Cinnamon Flour. 20 years after the witch and the gingerbread house Greta and Hans are struggling to get by. The mother and stepmother are long dead. Hans is deeply in debt from gambling and the countryside lies in ruin. It's people starving in the aftermath of a brutal war. Greta has a secret, the witch's grimoire, secreted away and whispering in Greta's ear for the past two decades. And the recipe inside that makes the best gingerbread you have ever tasted. As long as she can bake, Greta can keep her family afloat. But in a village full of superstition, Greta and her mysteriously addictive gingerbread, not to mention the rumors about her childhood misadventures as a source of gossip and suspicion. And now, dark magic is returning to the woods, and Greta's magic. Magic she is still trying to understand may mean the only thing that can save her if it doesn't kill her first. So it's a read to little pens and Greta. Next book is Tall Howard's Place by Jamie Lee Sullivan. And then it's when it came out on September 1st. In the far reaches of the Pacific Northwest, three best friends spend a day at the lake, but only two come home. Ten years later, Delia and Albio is tormented by the mystery of what happened to 15-year-old Zia on the lake that day. When she receives an email from Carter, the remaining friend in the trio, she can't resist the pull of the life-changing news in the message. Delia, hopefully hopeful for answers, travels home to see her old friend. But Connor is gone by the time she gets there, setting up another mystery. When Delia hears about the women's empowerment group that Connor joins, mm -hmm. off on the group's retreat property on the Oregon coast to find her, Delia feels this could be her chance to reconnect with Connor and reckon with that fateful day at the lake. My next book is Midnight at the Houdini by Delia S. Dodson. And it's, I mean, it came out September 5th. Michael, Michael discovers a serial hotel where no one ever leaves. When the clock strikes midnight, she'll be trapped there forever unless she is able to break free from magic that in turn breaks all her rules. The night is perfect and glorious and sparkling, too beautiful to be real, like magic. Anna may have grown up in glancing Las Vegas. As she's determined that no one will ever call her shallow, while her older sister Emily is the star of the family. And it is the diligent stage manager, making sure that both their lives go perfectly to plan. But when Emily's meals are totally betrayal, Anna flees in the middle of a raging storm and takes shelter in a boutique establishment she's never seen before, the Hunani. And my next book is The Fraud by Sadie Smith and and so when it came out September 5th, in its 1873, Mrs. Eliza Touchet is a Scottish housekeeper and cousin by marriage of a once famous novelist now in decline, William Ainsworth, with whom she has lived for 30 years. Mrs. Touchet is a woman of many interests, literature, justice, abolition, class, her cousin, his wife's. She's in this life and the next. But she is also skeptical. She suspects her cousin of having no talent. His successful friend, Mr. Charles Dickens, of being a bully and a moralist, in England of being a land of arcades in which nothing is quite what it seems. And my next book is Hemlock Island by Kelly Armstrong, and it will be coming out on September 12th. Lainey Kilpatrick has been renting a yeah. vacation home to strangers. The invasion of privacy gives and panic attacks, but it's the only way she can be her beloved Hemlock Island, the only thing she owns after the pandemic fueled the divorce. Her broken belongings and campfires that nearly burned down the house have escalated to bloody bones, hex circles, and now terrified renters are fled after finding blood and nail marks all over the guest room closet, as those seven tried to claw their out and failed. When Lainey shows up to investigate with her teenage niece in tow, she discovers that her ex, Kate, has also been informed, and is then with Jayla, his sister and her former best friend. Then Zini, another old high school friend, charters over with her brother, who is now a cop. The intentions and secrets whispers in the woods, and before long, the discovery of a hand poking up from the earth, then the body that goes with it. By that time, someone has taken off with the one and only mates off the island, and they're trapped with someone or something that doesn't want them leaving the island alive. My next book is The Sight by Melanie Golding, and it when it came out September 5th. Look into her eyes, she can tell you how you will die. 
As a child, Bea acquired the ability to see when and how people would die and gift. She neither wanted nor could get rid of. After foreseeing a family of tragedy and being archetraced, Bea learns to control her visions and return to her perform in her family's traveling carnival. But when an unruly customer attacks her, she has a vision in full view of the crown. She is banned from the carnival she loves and loses her only source of income to support her dying mother. Desperate to support her mother and with only one friend standing by her, no reason to continue hiding her ability and goes to dangerous lengths to earn money. But when she sees herself in a man's future death, Faith must face her own fears of her powers and tune into her gifts to fight against the future that would win her life and end someone else. My next book is Land of Milk and Honey by C. Pam Zang, and it will come out on September 26th. As smoke has spread, full crops are rapidly disappearing. A chef escapes a dying career in a dreary city to take a job at a desiccant mountaintop, coloring seemingly free of the world's troubles. There the sky is clear again, where ingredients abound. Her enigmatic employer and his visionary daughter have built a much new life for the employee for the global elite, one that reawakens the shift to the pleasures of taste, touch, and her own body. And my last book is Dead Man's Flow by Sean Stalls, which will it is already came out September 5th, and he is also the author of Mary the Light Die, which I have already read. Sometimes the truth hurts, some, sometimes the truth hurts, sometimes it even kills. Seven years ago, Sam watched her friend drown. The water and the fact that Sam couldn't save her has haunted her ever since. But what she didn't see that day was the hand that had reached out for her friend, wrenching her beneath the water. Now Sam, as Sam gets ready for class and he sees and on school's swim team, she vows once again not to let the fear of the water bring her down into its depths. But when the upperclassman takes the ghost in a bad neighborhood pool called a graveyard for the yearly hazing ritual, a seemingly harmless plague will set up a catastrophic chain of events and will unleash a spirit, a ghost, that has unfinished business both in the pool and outside of it, intent on fighting and skill. On this team, they all have a secret. They all have a motive. The truth can set them free if it doesn't bury them first. Okay guys, so that's all the books I'm planning to, that's all the books that are coming out in September that I'm excited for, so let me know what you are September releases, and please like, comment, and subscribe so you'll be notified every time I post, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!